Hi and welcome to How to D&D. My name is Frederick Willer and today I want to show you how to make Dungeons and Dragons monster tokens. Now a long time ago Dungeons and Dragons uh, or Wizards of the Coast produced a whole lot of little tokens for the Dungeons and Dragons 4E game. Now even though a lot of people don't like the Dungeons and Dragons 4E game they did produce tokens which were very small, quite cheap and had nice printed images on them. So things like this. This is a, uh, I believe it looks like it's some sort of surgeon baron. And then you've got all these little ones here like a, a guard drake and we've got a kobold, things like that. It's actually very difficult to actually buy these now because they're really expensive on eBay or Amazon. So finding them is quite difficult, unless of course you sort of stumble across them in somebody's garage sale. I'm going to show you how to make them. We have a few things that we need to gather together to actually do this. And first of all, we're going to need a punch. Now, this particular punch can be purchased at a stationery store. It's not that expensive. I think I've paid like $10 New Zealand. Um, you can buy them online for a few dollars. They're not that expensive. You want to buy one that is approximately 2.5 centimeters or 25 millimeters in diameter, which is one inch, which is the size that you'll be using on your grid. And uh, so yes, that's the first thing you'll need. You're also going to need some glue. Now you can buy any kind of PVA glue or glue that you prefer to use. I am going to be using exterior quality hardware glue. I don't want them to break or come apart so I'm going to glue them together with this. It's still a PVA glue but it's it's capable of holding wood together. So a lot stronger. You don't have to use that though. I have with me a pair of scissors because I might need to do a few adjustments before I punch them. And a cloth to clean up. I've also got here some newspaper because otherwise the table will be covered in glue. And because I don't want my tokens to actually stick to the newspaper or to be stained by them, I have some grease proof, grease proof paper. So that's what you use for baking. It's baking paper basically. So when you're doing your baking you can find that in your kitchen pretty easily. On top of that, the most important item is the magic cards. Now, I'm not a fan of magic, so I will actually take a lot of enjoyment in cutting these up and punching them. Um, but, then again, magic was based off Dungeons and Dragons, so let's not get into that. Now, I have acquired a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, you can just get online and use Photoshop or some sort of publishing uh, program and create your own and then print them out onto hard card stock and then you can punch them out. Now you could but that's actually quite expensive. This works out better for me because one I didn't pay for these magic cards I got them from uh, a friend of mine John Shackle which you've probably heard me mention before and he was about to throw them out so Given that he had so many and was going to throw them out, I asked for all of the ones that were pretty much had monsters on them. Uh, most of them do, so that's exactly what I want. Now, in your case, the great thing about Magic the Gathering is that to be better at playing that game, you have to buy vast quantities of these cards, which means that anybody playing Magic the Gathering has a lot of these cards if they've been playing for some time. So go into a game store, have a talk to somebody who's been playing for some time, and no doubt you'll find somebody who will give you some Magic the Gathering cards, or charge you a very small amount to take all of their common uh, cards that they don't really use in any of their decks, that they're really garbage as far as they're concerned. So that's what I would suggest you do. So now, let's get on to actually making a token. So first I want to show you these tokens made by Wizards of the Coast. They come in different sizes. Large, medium size. And we want to duplicate this. We're going to make medium size tokens. 
Now you can purchase a punch which is larger than just a 25mm or 1 inch so that you can punch out and make a token this size. So first of all, magic cards. You need some magic cards. Now I have a whole bunch of them and I've selected what I want. I have here two. Grab your punch. Now when you try to line your punch up with these images, it's not going to really line up because you need the, the, the image that you want has to be seen in the little window. So you're going to need to get some scissors, which I have. Whoa. And you're going to take those scissors and you're going to just trim off the top so that you have a cleaner line of sight to the image that you want. Same thing here. So yes, I have already done this with a number of different cards. As you can see, I've got a hag here, a shapeshifter, some sort of scarecrow, and some sort of wizard. And we are going to punch those images out. So the wizard, we line up in the window so we can see it. Got it. We'll punch it this way around the other way so you can see what's going on. Punched. Drop it out. There it is. Use it later. And I have uh, some sort of fish creature. So I'm going to line that up. The window. Go. And punch. There's another one. I'm not going to do any more than that. I've already punched out a whole lot of different things. They're over here. I've also punched out some fillers because it takes about four of these to actually create a token. And so you need to have about two glued together, which I've done here. So you take two fillers. So I've just punched out often in existing cards. There I've already punched out the image I want. I just punch out quickly enough cards to use as a filler. That's another one. I get about four usually from each card, and if I can't, well, it doesn't matter. There's plenty of them. Okay, it's that done. Here's my fillers. I don't really want to sort of do very much with right now. So I've got two, um, I'll take two and uh, I'm going to glue that together now. Just a dob of glue, not too much otherwise you've got a lot of excess glue to clear away later on. And we'll just spread that quickly. Glue two surfaces together. You need to squeeze them together good and firm otherwise they'll separate. And probably a good idea when you're doing this to actually use your greaseproof paper and put something heavy on top of them so that they actually set flat. Press it down. I'm doing this just quickly. I've already done a few. So that's basically this the filler. It doesn't actually have any picture on it that we want. So there's one that's already been done. And I'll use this one here, I think. Uh, so there's a filler. Thickness 2. And now I'm going to pick the images that I want. So... I've got some sort of fish creature from before. I've got that wizard. Um, I'm going to use that and I'm going to glue them on. Spread the glue. I had wanted to do this particular video a long time ago. I just got to get round to actually doing things sometimes. So I'm glad I'm actually getting time to do it now. There we go, spread that. Now I'm trying to do this pretty quickly. There we go, like so. Stick that together, squeeze them together. Like I said, put something heavy on top of them. Make sure you put the greaseproof paper between them, the shiny side, so it doesn't actually stick to your books or to your newspaper or anything else. Okay, I'll just push them down. That looks like it's pretty much done. I'll just make sure it's in line. Done. Okay. So I'm going to give you a quick look at these real close. So I'll zoom in the camera so you can have a look. So here's a small sample of the tokens that I made today. 
Here's the original token, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's not very thick, but it's thick enough to do its job. It's got a printed image on it. This one has a zombie and a lizard folk creature on it. Um, these are very, very simple. Nothing too difficult about them. And if you compare them, um, there we go. There's the, there's the difference. There isn't too much of a difference, really. They're pretty much the same. And as long as you press hard, they will stick together pretty good. Okay, I'm all finished. I hope this was really helpful to you, because I realise that not everybody can go out and buy miniatures, or even proxies of some kind. Um, and tokens are certainly a cheap way of actually creating something for your battle map, if you use a battle map. Uh, it just requires a bit of time on your part. This is a simple way of doing it. So, make a comment below if you have any uh, experience using tokens, or you've made your own tokens before. Um, as always, please share, like and subscribe if you found this helpful or informative. And I hope you have. And until next time, you keep rolling those 20s.